Good evening, I'm Adam Pinsker. Here are your top stories tonight. Monroe County and Bloomington City officials are still trying to hash out an interlocal agreement for expanding the Monroe County Convention Center. The county and city also disagree on how much of the land the county should hand over to the yet-to-be-named Capital Improvement Board. They've got enough to do. I don't want them to be a developer for all of, all of our county-owned property. Um, I mean, that to me is, is a wild thing to consider. Mayor John Hamilton says the land the county paid with the innkeeper's tax should be under the CIB. County and city legal staff have a month to hash out the agreement before the next meeting tentatively scheduled for March 2nd. Former Monroe County Commissioner Shelley Yoder is running for state senate. Yoder will face fellow Democrat John Zodi in the May 5th primary. Incumbent Democrat Mark Stoops announced last year he would not seek re-election. Yoder ran for Congress in 2012, losing in the general election to Todd Young, and in 2016 when she was defeated by Trey Hollingsworth. Indianapolis-based mall owner Simon Property Group is purchasing more than two dozen shopping centers for about $3.5 billion. Michigan-based Taubman Centers owns malls in the United States and Asia. The Monday announcement surprised some on Wall Street where analysts have been skeptical of future de uh, development for brick-and-mortar stores. Both companies believe the deal will help bring innovation to shopping centers. Weather forecast for the rest of tonight, mostly cloudy skies and a low of 30. For tomorrow, rain and or snow back in the forecast. We'll see a high of 38. Snow again in your forecast for Thursday, high of 32. It goes away on Friday, but much cooler as the front comes through. We'll see a high of only 25, warmer for the weekend. Have a good rest of your night.